Welcome back and happy new year again. Today we're gonna do a new what I eat in a day. It is a special edition. This is a detox what I eat in a day. Now let me just let it clear. Let me just be clear. <laughs> On this channel we're not about detoxing, weight loss, that kind of restricting things. This is just a feel good day. Maybe if eat a little bit too much this past few days and maybe you just want to feel better and you want to feel lighter overall and you want to feel your best again you want to feel like your belly is working your body is working and this is what i eat in a day to make my body feel better so this one is pretty much an application of the lesson that i gave you on the last video so on the last video i told you step by step what i go through on a detox day again you know what i mean by a detox day now and yeah this is basically an example of everything i told you in the previous video what it looks like in reality on my plate also if you don't know i'm vegan so all i eat is plant-based and those meal meals are really healthy too if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel i would love to have you here for 2020 we're gonna have fun i've prepared a lot of things so let's get things exciting <laughs> let's get things started let's get this what i eat in a day full day of eating started the first thing i take in the morning is a lot of water obviously when i wake up i always drink at least uh, a liter of water <laughs> to rehydrate from the night before really is going to help you <laughs> to start the day well. So I would highly suggest you start your day with water. You can add lemon if you want. I'm not too like keen on that whole lemon water thing. For me, water is fine. The next thing I take is a celery juice down. This is absolutely optional. It is not like something mandatory for a detox day. Even juicing is not mandatory at all. I'm just doing it because if you're not like an OG subscribers, they would know. <laughs> but I'll give you a chance to catch up. I've been trying the celery juice um, because I've had a few symptoms that, I mean, a lot of people have. Acne, bowel problems, etc. I was like fatigued and a lot of people said celery juice helped them. And I was like, hmm. I'm not gonna believe anything until I try it out. So I've been trying it out for a few weeks and I've been getting better. But yeah, let's just start my day with four 15 ml of pure celery juice. Hate it, but gotta get it in. Cheers. A little trick to make it easier to drink if you hate celery like me. You can just, you know, block your nose as if you were sick like this. I'm not sick, but I'm just like blocking my nose so I don't feel as much. <laughs> this one is so strong. Woo! <laughs> Celery juice kicking in. Okay, so for breakfast, as a surprise, I have oatmeal. I've just basically put half a cup of oats with a cup of water and a few chia seeds in there. I've put it a minute in the microwave because this morning I'm kind of in a rush. So I've uh, then put it outside because it's freezing freaking cold. My nipples are showing. And yeah, now it's like this consistency, which we love. As a little topping, I'm not going to go crazy. Um, actually, I am going to go crazy because raspberries in winter. So those are leftovers from Christmas dinner. We thought we would give ourselves a little treat. It's really not something we buy a lot. I also have a tea and this is Puerh tea. It's a tea that I've been drinking for years and it's really good for the digestion. It's a Chinese tea. Um, this one's organic. Yeah, as I mentioned, I'm not overloading my oatmeal with toppings. I keep my meals relatively simple and I'm gonna enjoy this. Also, I take two pills like this in the morning. This is a liver detox. I've mentioned this already in my previous video about the guideline about a detox day, but basically this is just a booster. It's not something that you have to take to detox at all. It's just something that I've been taking and that really helps me to kind of detox. I've got a lot of great plants in there and you don't need to find this brand. You can find another brand that helps you to detox your liver or do infusion with things like milk, <laughs> yeah, 
artichokes. What else is really good? Fennel, cardamom. This is what I take in the morning. Um, it's just plants. It's very much just plants. So I love it. For lunch, I'm going to make a big salad. It's usually either a big salad or a big smoothie that I have during those kind of days. I find it digests really well and you can pack a lot of things in there without like doing it too much either. Today, I'm cooking some quinoa in here and then I have some fresh ingredients that I'll show you how to build the salad. <laughs> This is my lunch. I'm gonna eat it without any phone or distraction. This is my goal because, I mean, I've prepped this with love, so I need to eat it with love and intention. And that's what I will do. After that, I'll probably work a little bit because I have a lot of videos to edit and then I might go to the gym. So I'm excited tonight. I teach a class, so I don't really know when I'm gonna eat. Probably after, because I teach at eight and I don't like to eat a lot before yeah it's a bit complicated so as you can see this is a big 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 plate again the goal of the detox is not to restrict yourself or to eat a small portion in fact it's actually really good if you can eat a quite a big portion of course if you're hungry if you're not hungry just don't eat as much but the goal is really to focus on healthy things these are absolutely healthy things there's not a single processed food in there so yeah the goal is to have food that will nourish me and also that will be easy on the digestion and those things are really easy for me because i'm used to it might not be <laughs> it might not be as easy for you if you're not used to that much fiber but this is what i eat in a day it's not what you eat in a day so <laughs> anyway but then <laughs> goodbye okay so i got super caught up in my day and for dinner i was honestly not really inspired so i decided to use whatever was left in my fridge i still had a few things that uh we bought for christmas and that we ended up not using things like eggplants should i have eggplants in my fridge in winter probably not so i have decided to use my bundle of ebooks the vegan bundle if you don't know what it is I mean, what have you been doing all your life, you know? I'll mention it one more time because it's gonna end anyways. But I really, 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 really want you to know about it because it's such an amazing opportunity. Like, you can't miss it out. So basically, the Vegan Bundle is a bundle of ebooks, 60 ebooks about the vegan lifestyle, plant based recipes, workouts, uh, workout plans, weight loss plans, muscle gain plans, lots of resources. And the good thing is that it's only $50 right now until January 9th. So, so many amazing people wrote this, like personal trainers, psychologists, dietitians, really, really people that have a lot of knowledge. There's also two of my ebooks in there, The Mindful Life In, Where's Your Protein? Instead of paying like all the 60 ebooks, $1,300, which is the value of all of the ebooks, you will get them for $50, but only until the 9th of January. It's such an amazing opportunity. I mean, I can't like... I can't I can't promote it more because it's it's incredible. So if you're thinking about it, just get it because you will regret it. So tonight I'm doing a recipe from there because I needed to use some eggplants. I'm doing a parmesan from Rebalance Protocol by Sammy Bloom, and this ebook is basically about rebalancing your body, your gut health, and also your hormones. I'm not following the protocol, so this is just one of the recipes included in there. But this ebook has so much knowledge, and I love it. And this recipe just looks so freaking amazing, so I'm gonna do it. So in this recipe, we're having quinoa, we're having flax grounded seed so that we can cover the eggplant with. And then we have like a super herby parmesan. It's made of Brazilian nuts, parsley, flax seeds. I mean, I'll put the recipe. And then also some tomato sauce. Obviously, it's not tomato season. So this is just like canned tomatoes. And yeah, I'm going to do that.
Let's hope this looks like this after it's put in the oven. I mean, this is the result. It's way more liquid than it's supposed to be. I think that's just because I've used canned tomatoes. But nonetheless, it smells amazing and I'm pretty sure it's going to be really yummy. This is the amount of greens that I'm going to eat tonight. Uh, couldn't be bothered making more. Don't we love just like showering at the end of the day, clearing out your face, just being like clean? I love to do this before dinner. I don't know, it sits me in such a, a better mood and I feel like I can really enjoy my dinner in a quiet time. So I'm gonna have dinner. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget again to check out the bundle, guys. I really don't want you to miss out on this. There's more information with my link. And thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you soon. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and to subscribe to my channel because you're a really nice person. I love you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye!